Hi guys, it's Ken. Greetings to you and to yours, and happy Saturday. It's another glorious, beautiful Saturday morning. Had a nice class at Creole Day, cartooning class, that wrapped up. So I hopped in the old buggy right there, driving home, and I saw a sign that said garage sale here at this church. I love church garage sales, church rummage sales, because everybody brings their stuff, and it's all in one big room. It's like one-stop shopping, and it's always very well-priced. I got some treasures I want to show you in the back of the car. First, I want to show you this cool tree. I thought it was kind of neat. Doesn't it look like a face? I think it does. Right? There's some eyes. Eye, eye. There's a mouth. He's kind of going, ooh. Anyway, it's Ken. I want to show you some cool things I bought. If you're a fan of New Music Monday, get ready for this Monday to be very, very curious on what I have. You're gonna love it. Check this out. All right, so check out some of these really cool finds. The big question is, which one do we start first? Here's one called Stereo Checkout. I guess it's uh, when you're checking out your stereo, making sure everything is working right. And so I'm kind of curious what that's about. Right here, Dixie Down Beat, High Fidelity Records, JP Sasson, and the Muskrats. Again, what does it sound like? I have no idea. Now, I've heard Liberace before, and I've heard Christmas music, but that just looks glorious. Look at that. Liberace in front of his mansion. Look at that fur. It'd be a fun Christmas one to listen to. During Christmas time. i got to show you the one that I'm most excited about. Well, first of all, check this one out. Joey D and the Starlighters. The Peppermint Twisters. 60 French Girls Sing Encore. All 60 right there. I love the artwork. Isn't that wonderful? Awesome. So, maybe I'll bring my record player to school one day. Let my kids hear some of these. Space songs. The ba From ballads for the ages of science. Again, I have no clue what it's going to sound like. But that's part of the gamble. These, collectively, after the um, after 12 o'clock half discount, were 12 cents a piece. Come on, 12 cents a piece. Another Christmas one. This one I'm very happy to find. This this was like a very when I saw this I was like, okay, American bird songs. Okay, how great can that be? Birds chirping, big deal. Then I opened it up. And look at this. These are red vinyl. Isn't that glorious? That is just absolutely wonderful. You don't see that every day. We don't see it anymore at all. They don't make vinyl anymore. Except some uh New bands are pressing vinyl. I mentioned that in my uh, last Monday's New Music Monday with the, uh, the resurgence of, of LP long play records, um, vinyl records overseas, and how some of the new, new bands are pressing records. Here's one, Bill Lincoln, Hawaiian Records. I think this was to commemorate like, the record bar. Honolulu, okay, the 49th state. Hawaii's Best Singers, right there, one collection. Come on, beer drinking songs. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> this one I'm excited about because, does this guy look like a dancer? Non-stop dancing right here. What kind of dance music? I don't know. We're going to find out together. Another great one, piano and percussion. Another great one, energy and motion songs. Again, maybe something I can use in the classroom for music and movement. Let's see. Mario Lanza. This is like an entire collection. And here's another one. It was the night before Christmas. Decca Records. Okay. And I'm kind of curious because Fred Waring, I think I've got a record of his back at the house. It was one that I bought, one of the first ones I bought a long, long time ago. Um, so that's all kind of curious. I thought I would share that with you. Now, if you watch, if you're a regular watcher, a regular viewer of this channel, you know that I didn't do a video yesterday. Okay, and I apologize about that. So as a bonus, there'll be a bonus video for you guys to see today. Okay, Bridget and I are going to head out shortly to something called Maytoberfest. Okay, so we're going to take the adventures on the road to uh, Maytoberfest here very shortly. She's working today, doing something on at Universal. So I'm going to head back to the house, meet her for lunch in a little bit. It's about a little after 12 now. Um, also, I mentioned, excuse me, while I put my seatbelt on, I also mentioned 
that I started a weight loss program. Now I was going to give you a little more information about that. So I'm going to do that right now as well. Just a real quick blurb. If you watched the other day's video, you know that I was going to send you to dietbetter.com. Okay. Now dietbetter.com, you can get on there and join a diet bet. Okay. A diet bet is where you put 30 bucks into the pot. You have four weeks to lose 4% of your body weight. And if you do, you win. If you don't win, you lose, which means that your money's gone. You lose your money. And the people who win, they split the winnings at the end. I joined a group called Shea Loss. Okay? If you're a fan of daily vlogging, you've probably heard of the Shea Tards. They've done a daily video, one daily video, every day for five years. And they're wonderful videos. I enjoy watching them. They're very, very entertaining. And they've always, they're always very positive and upbeat. Um, if you want to pick me up, something to, to make you laugh, the Shaytards are definitely that. So um, I'm enjoying watching them. And they started this. It was their group called Shay Loss. So if you want to join us, go to Diet Better. Join the Diet Bet. Put 30 bucks in the pot and you can join us. Look for Shay Loss. So um, I'm hoping, according to the calculations, on their computer, on the, on the computer, um, I need to lose 8.6 pounds in four weeks. Then I get to win. I meet my goal. That's the plan. So I'm gonna let you guys go right now because I'm getting ready to hit the main road, and I don't want to be distracted. Okay, I just wanted to say hello to you and to yours. Happy Saturday. Look for a new video this afternoon, this evening, from Bridget and I over at Maytoberfest. And um, as always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Um, I appreciate your support and all that kind of good jive, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys later. All right, thanks, bye.